super cool. I want to... Uh, where are we on ship move right now? Oh, we've ship been stopped. stopped. Oh, okay, that's great. Then let's oh. hold for a second. Beautiful picture. I don't know what this is. I've never seen one like this. It's friggin' ginormous. Yeah. Um, sample time? Yeah, maybe let's sample this. Okay. Just come full wide. Find a way to get in there without squashing. I mean, I don't. The closest thing is the bathycrinity, but it's no, not. No, it's not. No, that. that's not it. Where was I? Where were we looking before? I've never come across one like this. And you want to sample it? Yes, please. <laughs> we can just grab the lot of it. Oh, it's super cool, dense here. Try and squeeze it in is. Down there. It's really, really neat. Also, some other coinoids in the background. Uh, those yellow ones. Fryo? No. Hyocrine. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Or is it just a, the feather stars on? Oh, yeah, that's a cool shot. I don't think so. Oh, oh collision. <laughs> Looks like there's, oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. The whole thing? Uh, yep. Oh, look at that. This almost looks like claymation. <laughs> oh, look at how good those pictures are getting now. Hooray! That's fun. You kind of see it in the background, mm -hmm. too. It's great. Oh, my gosh. Uh, zoom in a little. Right down to the base. Uh, yep, please. It doesn't have to be the entire stock, but yeah, some of the stock. Loopy, what do we got uh, in the boxes? So, a lot in the front. We can put it. Um, unless you want to put it with the whale bow, or the dead coral, or the sponge. What's on the right? Is it? Is it? What are the with two the, things on the right? And the omega. Yep. The dead coral with associates, and then a sponge clipping. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I think it's. Um. I think we can put this in the porch too. Oh, did you find it there somewhere? What's Looks like yeah. Gillicrinus. I gotta wait for it to actually hold on. Okay, which side? Uh, let's see what we're looking at. It's not a good picture. I know it's in there, but I don't know how big it is. Looks um, like this one. Let's put it in Omega. You're right. It does look similar to that. It's like, it's like almost the barbule bits are like not as long, but I don't know if that's. Just, oh my gosh, it's that thing is massive. It's like massive. Like a palm tree in there. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> well, time to look. I'm not worried about storing it though because they just, they curl up so nice into pretty jars. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I think it's that, honestly. Yeah, that's the closest guess. Let's put it in, let's mm. record that in the, you put it in the chat so Luffy can record yep. it in the sample description. At least the family yeah, yeah. name. Possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, I spelled that wrong. I'm sorry. Let me fix that. Okay. And I don't know, that arm length was like almost 40 centimeters or I something. Know. It's huge. 30 this something. Wait, where? Oh, it's gone. But I got a picture of it with the arm. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. There goes part of the stem. Gotta sacrifice something. My god, gosh. I'm really admiring how you're trying. It's like a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. 
How's it already 320? I know, we're doing good. I'm like crashing and burning a little right I, now, but, yep. but yeah. we've been doing good. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still there so far. I think it's time for another joke. Maybe we can <laughs> tap on the on the big part. It might just squish in there. Mm. Or no. Maybe if you can get it to a corner, it might just squish. I get the. It's hard to get the oh. arm at that angle. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good. Nice. Yay. That looks good. Close that up. All right. Close that. Mm -hmm. You stay in there now. Oh, beautiful. Bless you. Sweet. Thanks. Thank you. We are at the point where I am very aware of the headset. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> very aware. <laughs> Okay, I do have a joke for you. Okay. Um, oh, all these dad on pop ups came on. So, what do dolphins uh, take in the morning, like, you know, with their breakfast? With, with their, their breakfast. breakfast. Yes. Um, I got that bubble camera back on the gauges. Fish oil? See. That was Ooh, a good guess. Actually, not. it's uh, vitamin C. Oh, come on. Oh. Come I feel on. like fish oil's better. That's low hanging fruit. Yeah. Love fish that. oil with the omega 3s. Sardines are a great source of mm. omega 3s. Mm. <laughs> yep. The skin ones. The ones with skin. Really? Yes. Without, without the skin, it doesn't have much? Uh, no, the skin is very good. Mm. Mm. Does, is, isn't it like scaly, though? Doesn't it stick no. on your tongue? No. Huh. Oh, okay. whoa. Oh, never mind. That's correct. Actually, mm -hmm. I thought I just saw like a huge shadow like whirr by, but maybe it's 3.20 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and the bones can actually make up like, I think, almost 30% of your daily calcium if you eat a tin with bones in it. And the bones are actually very small. The bones worry me because I'm worried that it, it might like get stuck somewhere. No, 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 no. They're like really, really small, really fine. Um, I don't know how to describe them. They're just like really, and they're really brittle too. They wouldn't hurt you. Hmm. Like crunchy stuff in your salad? No, they're not very crunchy either. No. They're like it's really fine. brittle. Ooh, our first <gasps> bigger fan. Oh my gosh, is that a madrepora? I think it's a hemicrallium. Mm. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. That is a hemicrallium. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well. Uh, zoom in. Oh, and that's a big feather star on the back. Yeah, it is. Nice. Woo -hoo! Big coral. Oh, yeah. Get them still cam shots. Now, tell us, why are you thinking hemicrallium versus paragorgia? Small knobblies and very brittle looking. It's not waving in this current at right. all. It is very firmly bent in this shape. <laughs> it's decided. Oh, yeah, that's a good picture. Yeah, that is good. Nice, thank awesome. you. Oh, and those um, little whatever they are. So, what do we think it is? This? Um, a it's a big shrimp. Hemicorallium. Yep, and that's also a big shrimp floating right near there. Mm -hmm. That was a nice close-up. Oh, what's this um, right here? Big I think that's oil. another... Oh, actually, don't know. Oh, it's a big uh, primnoid fan. Yeah, Norella, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Hey, zoom in. Oh yeah, another, I 
I think another Calyptrophora, actually. Yeah, I think so, too. That, that looks more like Calyptrophora. Yeah. Wow. That's With the bamboo in the front. Yeah. Beautiful. You can zoom out. Shoulders killing me. We're so close. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see mm -hmm. that way different. Oh, this is a great example of how to differentiate the yeah. Perm the Perno is bamboo. usually it's like the They're straight up. axis. The the, the palms don't always go all the way around. Yeah, they, or they they're you know what I mean. You can see. Yeah, yeah they're like and yeah. They're perpendicular to the br exactly. uh, branch. Exactly and to each other, they're like directly across. Yeah, they kind of remem remind me of those like seashell necklace bracelet things. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, like the I can't think of what you're thinking of. Ah, uh, shoot, I don't like know what they're called. Like shell things? No. Um, I don't own them, <laughs> but I've seen them a million times. <laughs> Uh, oh, these. Could we look at... Uh, go at ahead and move the ship in 10 meters. Go oh, back so. towards you? Nope, that's not... Or right. ahead. Uh, ahead, into the... Into the any of these knobbly white fans, please? Yeah, these. Like these? Kind oh, of. Oh, yeah, I know Sorry. what you're talking about. Which one do you want to zoom on? Uh, the knobbly white ones like this or that or yeah any anything okay it's easy to look at zoom in this one okay yep one. it's a huge base over to the le oh and we got an urchin oh so this looks like white paragorgia to me mm, right <sighs> yep for sure <laughs> so much in the background too it's awesome all right, we're good here. Oh, and there's a little um, Caliphacus in the background that I got. Oh, and a cup coral. All right, um, can we look to the left of it? Yep. To the urchin. And another one of those Oh, yeah, it's a pens. big urchin. And yeah. Another rock pen, yeah. Um, we early have a rock request or two. For any chance of an early rock or two? Oh, from Kevin Conrad, yeah. Um, yes, what? I, I asked where oh. they would like yeah. it. Wow. All right, good zoom. Thanks. Sure. Rocks now? Uh, we're asking. Oh, yeah. anything chunky. Yeah. Um, if we see... Oh, that sponge actually is one interesting looking. Um, sorry, real quick. That's here. Oh, it's a, I have a picture of it right here. Oh, you have a picture? Yep. I need to see. But it's... Yeah. Oh, is it just a Calavacus? I think it is okay. a Calavacus. Okay, right, never mind then. Uh, yeah, if there's a rubbly rocky patch somewhere where we might be able to look for something. Wow, look wow. at these big fans. Ooh. See the big corals over there? Yeah. Beautiful. I'm wondering if that's what those like base remnants are. Oh my gosh, this huge bamboo to the left too. Yeah. Just um, in time for us to hand this over to another <laughs> one. Maybe I can get a rock in here. I don't know. They, they look a yeah, little they look tiny Yeah, they look kind of firm. These ones. And big. Yeah. Firmly attached, I mean, or big. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we will keep we will keep the rock in mind. If we see a rocky patch, we will get after it. Um, Look at that big basket star. Oh yeah. Um, Lupi, I put the ID for the urchin in the chat. Uh, go ahead, and zoom. Ooh, there is uh, so much going on here. Life. 
I like this pink. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, that brittle star, a um, basket star. Yeah, I actually over. love to. It's tough. I feel pretty good about it. So it's less steep here than, than it was a second ago there? Uh, yeah. Okay. So for those of you just tuning in, welcome aboard the exploration vessel Nautilus. We are currently about 1,600 meters below the ocean surface. We are exploring an area right outside the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. And we are exploring an unnamed geo for all sorts of uh, important areas of science, ranging from marine life and geologic features. And so this area that we are in is the Pacific Rim Islands Marine National Monument. It is currently under review to have an additional uh, national sanctuary placed on top of it. And this is currently open for public comment. So you can check out a blog on our website when you scroll around to the recent highlights portion at the bottom of the page. And you can see, or you can submit your comments on the pro proposed marine sanctuary. And where we are is outside the monument within the exclusive economic zone. So this part would not, this for this part, this would be the the first first layer of, a, of protection. What's that over on the left of the lasers? A uh, stocked uh, thing. Yeah. Oh, and there's a Brazinja maybe sticking its mm. arms up. Oh yeah, definitely. I think. This might be another Primnoid. So we have people tuning in from all around the world, ranging from all over the U.S., and many of you are just waking up, so good morning. Go ahead and zoom. Good morning. As well as Australia, South Africa, Finland, France, Panama, one of our uh, ship That's navigators bamboo, is from Panama. Bamboo, bamboo. Czech Republic, Switzerland, India, That's Italy. That's good, thank you. Okay, India. Okay, full wide. So yeah, everyone, welcome aboard. I always love how many different places are tuning in at once. Yeah, so fun. Yeah, so not a super dense community, but still quite a lot of individuals we've been seeing. Yeah, we have had a uh, we have had less. Before. Yes, <laughs> we're like smack dab in the middle, I think. Lots of small whips and like other sort of long corals that we've been seeing when we get up close, but it's really hard to see them from afar like this. My mom sent me a picture of her bed where apparently my dog <laughs> snuck in her room and brought his toys onto her bed to sleep oh. with her. <laughs> Oh. But so you just see the little toys just. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> it's so cute. Cool. Oh, is that? Okay? It's just funny because she's allergic to dogs. So it's oh. like she tries to not and he still sneaks in. <laughs> oh. It's cute. 
my mom sent me a cat video today, but it was like my brother petting her and like overstimulating her and he bit her. <laughs> <laughs> but I've told them many times she doesn't like to be pet like in certain ways. She knows what she wants. Do you mind plugging that in, please? Are there two? Yeah, but the other one's like a smaller one. Um, There's one over here. Do you want this one? How are you doing over there? Oh, it's my Apple Watch. Are you, you all want? charged? You good? Do you want? No, it's dead. Still. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. We can. Uh, Do you want to use that one? Sure. Thanks. I'd be forgetting to charge this Ooh, thing. Oh, Bathy Pathies. <laughs> um, to the left. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to zoom? I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. We've seen them. How are we in our trajectory? Getting uh, towards yeah. three. I guess for our viewers at home, we are not actually like the cliffs are going up. That's not really, the, that's not the geo. The geo is humongous. We're just going <laughs> over like little bumps on it. Oh, another jelly. Yeah, this one has been a really bumpy ride. That's a good description, Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oftentimes we uh, are looking at sides of uh, slopes that doesn't always give the biggest scale of what we're looking at, but believe us, uh, Hercules is about the size of a minivan or maybe a Kia Soul. I think that's a good way to describe it, <laughs> but <laughs> tall Kia Soul. <laughs> imagine driving a Kia Soul up the side of a mountain, like a big mountain. That's basically what we're doing. For this dive in particular, we're going over like three little bumps. Um, so we just finished so our cool. first one and we're yeah. going up the second one. Oh, it's also, if anyone does go outside, it's very wet. Is it really very, blowing very wet. still? It's not, it's not raining, but it's like super wet. It did definitely like pour. <laughs> yeah, thanks for this pan around. Sometimes it's interesting to see like are those sides of the ridge more got more going on or the ridge it's itself. Mm. It's an interesting dark little knob. Yeah, rock. that rock, yeah. It's kind of interesting. So here's a question that people are wondering. So, what's the difference between a seamount and a geo or a geo? All s I guess you could say all geotes are seamounts, but not all seamounts are geotes, right? Yeah. Yeah, the geo is flat That's on top. It's has been weathered and eroded on top. Yeah. Exposed to erosional processes above the water surface at some point. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sometimes seamounts are islands in formation, and it's only a matter of time before they breach the ocean surface and become an island. In fact, I believe there was one recently that popped up in the Ooh, South Pacific. In Another halosaur, I think. It's like swimming upside down. <laughs> I feel like we always say that, but they're not actually swimming upside down. Sometimes I feel like we're oh, look right. that way. Right, yeah. Not swinging upside down. Just keep swinging. Go ahead and zoom. Swing, oh man. Swing. That might actually be um, is it a rat tail. Oh, that's a, yeah, yeah, that is a rat tail. Yeah. I'm learning. Oh, I love them. They're cute. Well, that's a very pretty fish. Yeah. Oh. So majestic swimming by. Oh. Oh, no, nice. shrimp. I wonder what they eat. Oh, that looks like a Cleona. 
That so looks like, like a sea butterfly. Oh my or gosh. Or a sea angel. If we see a sea angel, please. These are all sea oh, angels, and I, I think. I think it's your buddy. No, that's another sea angel. Oh yeah? Oh my gosh. It's so hard to look at them, the though. pteropods. And they're gone. <laughs> that would have been so cool to get a close-up on that, though. Those are hard. Sometimes they can get really big. In Antarctica, they, they get really, really big. Yeah, like, like how big? I've been diving with ones that are like <gasps> that big. They're oh my huge. Gosh. Yeah, you can That's get really beautiful. good pictures of them. Sea angels. Love them. Also, I saw some. I saw a comment asking about tinafores. Yes, they do get this deep, but they don't look like tinafores on the surface. Um, Sometimes they do. Okay. From the pictures I'm seeing, mm -hmm. they look they look kind of stalked, but yeah, yeah I'm those sure. are weird. Yeah, looking. I've never seen any of, <laughs> of like that white one. I've never seen that. But well, you get some this of the pretty uh, standard yeah. looking tina forest down here yeah, too. This is a higher depth range for this weird looking white one, but it's alive. yeah. There's usually kind of like everything, like every level of organism is like kind of everywhere usually. Or not every level, how do I say it? Like every big, no. so like... Like every major invertebrate phylum is yes. represented in different depths and areas of the ocean, yeah? Yes. Mm-hmm. How many Yeah, I mean are? like crinoids, you see them in the shallows of polar waters, you see them here, you see them... Yeah. What is uh, that? Yeah, if we, we can, can take a pic. It just, everything just looks vastly different, usually. Um. Oh, actually, is that just another? Go I ahead think and it is just another. Uh. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt to look. We're not, yeah, we kind not of looking at much else. Let's yeah, see if we see anything interesting on it. There's so something say, weird there's eating it. Two white things on it. Um. Yeah, another paramarisid with the brittle star what is that on it. Looks anemone-like. Maybe one facing. Of the jelly it also doesn't. It? You said the jelly. No, I don't think know. it's a jelly. Or like you said, maybe an anemone. So tiny. Yeah, I think it might yeah. be just facing away from yeah, us. Yeah, it's facing downward. Oh, and I think a little sea cucumber to the right of it, right there. Can't really see though, but I think we're good. Thanks. Thanks. There have been there have been some really really small sea cucumbers, too. Hmm. Oh. Something flew by on still cam. Not a lot of big things, but. Oh man, I need caffeine or something. I know, Sugar I just kick. finished my tea. I'm we like have the sour gummies. Oh. <laughs> I, say, I have a bowl with some sour rings and gummy bears. Oh my gosh, can you we'll pass that a bowl I think over here? here. I think yeah. it's peach or watermelon. I just Not finished sure. off some Oreos. <laughs> Go for it. I like just finished my last stash of Sour Patch Kids, so no. I'm in withdrawal. No, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I highly underestimated how much, how many snacks to bring. Me too. Highly underestimated. I literally looked at my pantry and I was like, I'm not going to have enough room for this. And it turns out we have like a whole extra bunk open in our room. So yeah. there's a lot of extra. <laughs> I but say, yeah. Once I brought them cheese it's out, yeah, the cheese it's about gone. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I still have some. Yeah, I'm like rationing my bag. <laughs> <laughs> the cups of ramen noodles that were in the, you know, I don't are gone. Well, yeah, well, there's off. top ramen. I have yeah. some noodles, some cup noodles in my room if anyone wants any. But I'm waiting for the snack stores to, oh, what's this little dude? Oh, yeah. Little fish. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, and there's a sponge we should look at behind that. No, there's one that looks alive oh. in the distance. Not this thing. Oh, I see it. I see. We actually you want no, the fish? Okay. We can do the yeah, fish the first, fish. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. zoom in. I think it's probably another McCurrid. Or, or no, it's a Cuskeel. Um. Or wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of looking round. Oh, like, what you call me? It's so cute. Yeah, it's a Cuskeel. It's a baby. <laughs> I thought Fully it could grown. be a Gulperial for a second. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not a great picture. Wow. Well, All right. Um, we're good. He's swimming to the lasers. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. Uh, okay, the sponge was back up to the left. Like over that direction somewhere. Oh, I did not see that. Gotta go higher up. It's another Euplectelid. Oh, yeah? But living. I've seen many of them. No, we haven't. Right here? Right there on top. Oh, oh right. way up there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yep. Nice. Good spot. Ooh. Probably a Rigadrella or Dictialis. Gotta look at that rim. Go ahead and zoom. <laughs> I think it's Rigadrella. Uh, Looks like an instrument. Actually, this is beautiful. It is. They are beautiful. Ooh. Looks like a sock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I'm> really? <laughs> so nice. <laughs> it looks That's like so a big sock. Thing. It looks like a sock. <laughs> Good looking sock. <laughs> <laughs> Prettiest sock Very I've ever seen. Yeah. Really uncomfortable I sock. I think that too. might actually be Dictiolus this time. Mm, that looks, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to look at the top bit? I think we're good. I think we're all right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah, that, yeah. Just, Just looking the at the side, you know, <laughs> it's a little. Certain things you gotta look for, and what we're looking at is just the, the um, organization the pattern yeah. along the side and how bumpy it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, what is this? That is cute. Whatever it is, is it a barnacle? Is it a cute barnacle? <laughs> <laughs> cute cup a barnacle. Is it a cute, cute base of a something. <laughs> a little. Little something. Uh, zoom in. That's Ooh. cute. I think it's I think the base of whatever is uh, above it. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Actually. What one? Wait, was? no, it's the base of something that's no longer there. Yep. Dead thing. Okay. Just like kidding. A little Hershey Kiss base. It does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I white want like a little white one. Peanut butter blossom cookies. Wow, we just got to a lot of paramorphids <laughs> yeah, right here. That's what just changed. Hmm. Why? Can we go to the right, perhaps, a little bit, or just, just look there? A quick pan. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. just a little cluster. Yep. Hmm. Nice. Like nothing has changed. I know. And all of a sudden. <laughs> I mean, it kind of got a bit taller, I guess. Me, me. I don't. Well, uh, I mean, like the um, the depth. a bit more like the rock formation. Uh, no, it didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe There's actually, I don't know. <laughs> more prominence, but I don't know. It's like we've been seeing very it's similar and now. All of a sudden, something's different. Don't know what. It's because we have reached sixteen hundred oh. meters, and they know. <laughs> yeah, that's the dip. They're like, mm -hmm. all right. It's time to come out and say hi. Something something dissolved oxygen, something something current. It's a good it's a good uh something something thought. nutrients. What are those yep. something somethings right now? It's seventeen percent oxygen. Hmm. It's quite hmm. low. Hmm. So is there less dissolved oxygen at the deep ocean versus the surface? <laughs> or more? Yes, certainly less than at the surface. For I, in the I upper can, ocean there's yeah. more than a hundred percent saturation sometimes you get super hmm. saturation because of the wave action wow uh it like that makes it, sense. it forces <laughs> bubbles into the water um 
so yeah, when we're down here and we have like 15, 30, 40 percent oxygen, that's less than in the upper upper ocean. Um, and also, in the deep ocean, oxygen. So the water masses that we're interacting with down here, uh, especially in the Pacific have been traveling from elsewhere for quite some time. And during that whole time, there have been organisms and microbes um, respiring, breaking mm -hmm. down their food, and, and you know just like we do, consuming oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide. And so the water, as it makes its way through the deep ocean, gets less and less and less oxygen because it's not being replenished from, from anywhere until you reach areas where, uh, where there's deep water formation where surface water is sinking. And a lot of times there's a lot of variation too. Like it's, it kind of fluctuates a lot. Um, and it's kind of, it, it can really change depending on where you are. Like there's no one certain pattern for it. Oh, we got a big sea whip. A little curly. Okay, I swear that's not me. So is that basically how life evolves to a low oxygen oh, environment? There's a, actually, can we look at this first? Life can impressively yep. evolve on Earth to, it seems like, just about anything. So yeah. if, there's, if there are conditions that exist, life will find a way. Yep. Example, extremophiles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Might be a bit bumpy, but uh, I zoom mean, in. Sorry, I think it's actually just a dead skeleton. The microbes in... Yeah. Oh, that's infested. Infest it oh, with yeah, lots little of stars opioids Whoa. everywhere. And just fall off like oh, a leaf. They're competing. Must get to the top. All right, we're good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Do we want to look at the sea whip or not that important? Uh, sure, we can take a quick peek at the sea whip, see what it is. Probably a bamboo. Oh, yeah, it is a bamboo. You can see from here already, it's got big. Big old polyps. Big uh, big in. bands. Mm. Oh yeah, no, I see those. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you determine nodal versus internodal? That does not apply here. It's <laughs> good, thank you. Nice. Very long. Um, any any sort of guess as to why they kind of kink a bit? No, I don't know Just why they their growth do that. The mm -hmm. the bamboo corals seem to always be a bit more like <coughs> the yeah. way they grow, whereas primnoids are very <laughs> Long, straight, flowy. Yeah. Oh, and just glancing at Daniel's screen, someone asked, um, we have human staff members, are there any animal staff members? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> if my cat could get her sea legs, I would advocate for that, but um, no. But there is actually a hidden history of like, uh, like maritime pets that I found an article on, which is actually yeah. pretty interesting. So. They used to, yeah, they, they were a very popular thing in the day. The early Antarctic ex expeditions had all kinds of uh, all kinds of animals with them. Obviously, for ultimately getting around on Antarctica, but also cat. They, like multiple expeditions had a had a ship Aww. cat on the on the way down. D all the Another rodents fish. from eating their food. Uh, no, just because the cat came on in one of the port companion. stops and they were like, listen, cat, if you don't get off, you're going to be with us for a very long time. And the cat didn't get off, so they're like, all right, fine, two, <laughs> two and a half years later, here you, here you are back. A cat tin. Bad joke. The cat nap tin. Real bad joke. <laughs> I was like, I giggled. I'm trying, I'm trying. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <Not> <laughs> cat nap. Captain. Okay. 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 <laughs> I am the captain now. Uh, yeah. Apparently, 
cats can get seasick. Or probably oh, yeah. all the animals. Oh, I, didn't I know think that. Uh, Don't know. Mike, our, our uh, deck boss. What, bathopathies? He, he had a cat that got seasick. Oh. Wait, so you said a previous deck our, cat? Our, our current Mike. Oh, oh, the deck chief. Mike. Yeah, his, he had a cat and he, uh, that he, lived on a boat with him. And oh, he got seasick. Got seasick. <laughs> Poor kitty. Ooh, look at these rocks. I recently just got my dog registered as the emotional support animal so I can have him on campus with me. Awesome. Oh, nice. And you can travel now with him. Yes. Yeah. So we're actually waiting for his little vest and stuff to come in. Oh, cute. I doubt he's going to wear it, but you know. Uh -huh. He wears clothes for the most part when he wants to. <laughs> My cat had an itchy episode, and I had to put a sweater on her, which probably didn't feel great, but she was literally itching herself raw until I got her to the vet. Mm. Likely an allergy. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have some more density here. Guess because it's kind of on a slopey top. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is, but there's a lot now. I don't know. <laughs> We're still climbing. We're only about halfway to the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. but still, you know, why Why here? <laughs> why? Niskin sample, maybe? Oh, I forgot about that. What was that, Luby? I Niskin. said Niskin sample. Oh? Y yeah. Um, it's so hard to say whether this feels dense enough. I might w <laughs> uh, maybe wait till Diverse we see enough. a little bit more. Especially, like, what's flowing over this ridge, you know, it's not, not that they're off in the distance where mm -hmm. the water's coming from as well. Yeah, it looks like we have some possible paramaresids possible from Noid, maybe down there. Yeah, Bamboo. next time we see a white fan, maybe let's zoom on that. Yeah. But thanks, Loopy, for remembering the eDNA samples. Yeah, I completely forgot. I can use those reminders. Could we actually, yeah, zoom on one of these fans? One of the larger ones, like oh, this there's one, um, maybe? Oh, yeah, a rock, a rock pen. pen. Rock pen. That's, um... Uh, so do you only zoom. call it a sea pen if it's, like, within the sand? Yes, and then exactly. A rock pen when it's on rock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's still paramaricid. Come down a little bit on Atalanta, please. Not Acanthagorgia. But it's so hard to tell. Sarah? Yeah, she was oh, she you're was on it. Sorry. Eight. You're yeah. good. You good with that one? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, we're okay. good. Pull wide. And then maybe a quick zoom on the rock pen to the left. Shoot, I saw this type. Right there, yeah. I'm trying to find it. Or both of these are. I can look at this one. Okay. Go ahead. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty, like, brownish color. Yeah. Ooh, really long. The base long. is interesting. Really long polyp yeah. things. Yeah, it's got a kind of weird. Oh, bend. and what is the thing? Uh, Almost looks like a suction cup. Uh, a know. polyplacophorin, like a kite, oh, maybe. maybe. It's like kind of fuzzy. It looks kind of almost iridescent. Could we zoom on just what's right out of the screen over there, please? It's kind of yellow. A little it's yellow. Really bit. small, yeah. yeah. That's maybe my it's full a zoom. Do we okay, think it's a all right, never mind. Could it be a nudibranch? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks almost spiky. Yeah. It's so hard uh, to tell. Kind of looks like a nudibranch, actually. Look at it. Wait. That's uh, good, thank you. Yeah. Um, Not going to get a better zoom. Let's see. Yeah, we're good here. Thanks. Oh, it's a good still shot. 
Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. What's that in the distance? Um, a sponge skeleton looks like, which we have a bunch of. Mm -hmm. Another sea cucumber. Yeah, so now we're kind of getting in. Maybe this is potential in this skin area? Or no? Still want to wait. I still want to wait a little bit. Okay. It's most useful for them when it's a high density area. Mm, got it. I will say that if that was a nudibranch, I love nudibranchs. They are. Could we look slugs. at that white fan Ooh. back there, please? They're really pretty. They come in a lot of different colors. They're so pretty. I have some on my laptop, like uh, stickers. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I love seeing them when I'm scuba diving. They're yeah. So cool. Really fun. Ooh. Go ahead and zoom. All right. It's a Hemicryum, yeah. Pretty. It's pretty. That brittle star is on the move. The Looks brittle like stars are very matchy. Growth. Mm. growth on the end, that kind of oh. yellowish haze, maybe. Yeah, I was seeing that on the other coral, too, whatever that is. Yeah. All right, I think Thank we're you. good here. Okay. Oh, fell off. Whoa. Oh. They do that when they're scared, I think. Sorry. Yeah. Or it might be Herx current. That, too. <laughs> There's been a that lot of too. falling stars. Shooting, Shooting stars. stars. Hey. Shooting stars. Falling stars. Mm -hmm. Oh. Long sea whip. Mm-hmm. Huh. Ooh, a little Chrysogorgia. So small. So going back to kind of the pets is this is not on a ship, but the Coast Guard Academy used to have a bear on campus. <gasps> a bear? It, yeah, and it would like wander around the bear. Yep. I think it would it would what? Yeah. It would walk around the barracks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with all the cadets. Wait, like like what type that of bear? Sounds terrible. Like, like a black bear? Just like a, yeah, I think just a black Grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, polar bear would be interesting. <laughs> if not, the polar bears would be worse. There's a bear running around my hometown. Uh, is there <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, it's a bellopathies. Um, bellopathies, yeah. Have uh, you ever heard about sea bears? Oh. oh jail. You can protect you yourself by drawing a circle. Yeah, I must say you got to protect yourself by drawing um, a circle. It can't be an oval. <laughs> That's good there. <laughs> I think Beautiful. in this area we've been seeing, we have been seeing a lot of a lot. this coral. So I, it would be useful to pop a Niskin quick and see okay. if this Niskin, general area how we, gives. How do we feel about sample? Of, uh, of what? <coughs> like, what are we looking to sample of, in all yeah, this dive? Yeah, stuff that we see a lot of. I guess this... Uh, Looks similar to what we saw earlier. I guess it's a little That's yellowier. Might right. be different. The we have go on. A, like on that one dive, we kind of around this depth collected like three different samples of this one mm. paramorosid. But I mean, who am I How to say that it's the same? I don't know. How do we feel about the umbellopathies? You've seen that like what, like three times? I know it's not like very. Mm -hmm. Dense, you want like the Niskin, right? Yes, please. Yes, Niskin please. first. But uh, and if we could stay a little, I guess the altimeter is in the back of Herc, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is a good good altitude. That's. Do you want me to get over it or where? I um, am? yeah. If you could be a little closer to it. Yep. 
or with the Niskins? Uh, are any of the Niskins done? Uh, no, right? Lindy? No, they're all empty. Okay, we can do six, yeah. Man, I really hope that was a new to Bronx. Kind of. It's hard to tell. Sometimes there are sea yeah. cucumbers that also look like kind of spiky kind of like that. just sedimenty. Mm -hmm. Rolling around in the sediment. Like a true sea pig. There was a worm in the last um, okay, uh, watch number that six. we saw. Hmm. Do we know what that was? I didn't see it. The the mollusk coralivorous worm thing? Yeah. Where, where did you see this? It was in the last watch. Uh, oh. I saw it on the um, Oh, I know stream. what you're talking about. Yeah. They had like a weird It'll bluey worm by. or something. Yeah. Blue? I didn't get a good look at that. I don't know what mm. that was. It was also kind of whitish, too. Uh, yeah, that went. Blue, okay. you said? Sweet, thanks. Got it. Thank I say you. white. It oh. was like... Oh. White with like yellow antenna. Oh. And it was just like swimming by really fast. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't see it. Shoot. I think you saw it too, Cheyenne, right? I did, yep. It yeah. was very... It's like feathery. Very possible that it was yeah. made of bronc. Uh, it was a worm. Mm, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. My bad. It was definitely so the body was like thin. Not yeah. Like hmm. thin. Yeah, we haven't seen many. I mean, it's hard to see polychaetes, but we haven't really seen many. Up on Atalanta. Coming up. It looked like some kind of polychaete. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a Victor Gorgia, I think. Oh, really? Did you see yeah. purple? Mm-hmm. Could we also look at this sponge? Uh, we brief? can't. No, right unless okay. you want to move the ship back. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no you're good. good. Can wait to get ahead. That one just going by? Uh, the no. Bottom? Yeah. Or Sorry, I thought we had already passed it. I'll give you a real quick one. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just curious if it was Walteria. Go ahead and zoom. It might be the same as what we've been seeing. Nope, it's mm. Walteria. Woohoo! Yeah. Wow. Different uh -huh. sponge. Cool. Nice. nice. That's good, thank you. Okay, full wide. Gosh, the ISO is wild here. Oh. Mm. So the Coast Guard Academy bear, just a cadet just like brought a bear cub back to the academy Who and convinced. <laughs> Ah, yes, this bear cub I found <laughs> that the mother willingly let me take with me. This Ooh. is a big fallen sponge Something. stock. Oh. Huge. Did anyone want to see something like explode in front of Atalanta just now? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? No. Squidding. Larry. Come it on. Squidding. That's a big wow. bamboo. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Look at the size of that thing. Look at those bands. Oh, yeah. Zoom. It's very curly, too. You can truly Benji. see why they're called bamboo. You can Go look ahead. at it that in Atlanta. That's like, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. wow. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's massive. Big. It looks like a pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. Are them little pipe bits? Yeah. All right, we're good. Thanks. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's like kind of amazing how many big, like big versus small things we've been seeing. Yeah, most of the corals like that we've seen have been, you know, a little shorter, just like little stalks sticking up. But yeah. this one's really rich. That one out. is really doing well. <laughs> a really old one, probably. Okay. 
shrimp. Mm. Has the current been slightly higher since we've gotten onto this ridge? Yeah, it has come up. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's what I've noticed has changed the most about what we're seeing. The current and all this stuff is like on the kind of apex. Mm-hmm, yeah. As far as we can see anyway. I also, I also have to like remember, like you're only looking with this tiny, teeny flashlight. Right, right. What you guys were saying earlier, like there's no, there's no light here. Mm -hmm. Like that's all. So you know, never think about that when you're looking at it. No. And then, oh. and it's also so quiet. Or no, like that it's might just be a, people's yeah. voices. Yeah. Just kidding. And then the machine is making a lot just of noise. Lot of noise. Right. I don't think that's anything. Actually, mm -hmm. just kidding. Sorry. It's <laughs> also it's it's like you think oh like I have a good grasp on what is surrounding me right now, but really you don't. And no, sometimes you, don't. you mm -hmm. notice there's a huge sponge off to the left or something. You see an Atalanta that you would have ignored. Speaking of, can we pan to the left a little? To the left. There's a big sponge. Mm -hmm. Is there really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Here it looks like it's it. not it's like sand. unless it's sand. It might be that sand that's that we're sand. looking at. Sand. Just kidding. Sand. But it really yeah, looks. Yeah, but yeah. You see it, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, we're both we're you both losing it. got a good track record, it. but calling them. But yeah, that looked <laughs> like a sponge. I'm right sorry, there. mine is like 50. <laughs> <laughs> Polyopagon. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> it's huge. Huge. But it's happened enough times, you know, that you're ignoring what is just beyond your vision. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's like today when I when I thought I saw something big and gray leap for literally half a second out in the off the side of the ship, but I was like, thought I it was I a whale don't shark, know. huh? Uh, not a whale, whale shark. shark. It was like dark gray, but I it was literally half a second, so I have no idea. Um, and we haven't seen anything big off the side of the ship yet, so... Well, actually, no, there was a whale yeah. shark in the beginning, but, like, one person saw it. So... And it's very hard to track down that one person. Yeah. yeah. It keeps changing. Who, who is... It's I hearsay. saw the whale shark. We gotta go back to the, like, Nautilus Live archive. Wait, was it not you, Sarah? Yes, I saw one. Oh! oh. Like, the first week. Because Sarah's, like, just oh gonna God. stay quiet here. Everyone's <laughs> like, who saw <laughs> it? <laughs> I was just like paying attention to. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, doing my job. Excuse you for doing your job. <laughs> a little bit. And I'm like, why? What is going on? Am I getting pulled? And then all of a sudden, I cued into what was happening. <laughs> but that's awesome that you got to so see it. Uh, it was incredible. At first, it was so huge. I thought it was a whale. I'm like, oh my god! But then it came around on yeah. the other side and really close. And you can see all the the dots on it and stuff, or spots and. Oh my gosh! And in the whole outline, oh, like of the body, so and it cool. was just—that's oh, that's awesome. so cool. We can only hope for Paula's birthday. Oh yeah. Yeah, we must manifest best birthday that for her gift birthday. if that happens. I feel like we need to do something for Paula's birthday. I yeah. mean, whale shark mm. sea shanty. We'll break out. <laughs> yeah. Whale yeah, shark we need to choreograph shanty. a dance. <laughs> Break out the uh, uh, tuppet tub. Oh, uh, you know what? I think that's an excellent idea. We 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 we, you know, eased the idea out today. It was too rolly though, but oh. if it's I not guess tomorrow, tomorrow we're. Uh, it depends on when we when we recover this. Can you reseed the DVL? Mm -hmm. Actually, well, yeah. I think that's just it's a, a hemichorallium. <laughs> yeah, I think you're probably right. You're so white. Let's see. This was supposed to be 16 hours recover at like four, maybe. So, yeah, um, we could maybe do a midday while we're on DP still, mm -hmm. if it's not too rolly, mm -hmm. tepid afternoon. <laughs> Sounds nice. For our viewers at home, we have a tub that's we cannot heat the water, so that's why it's called the tempid tub. It's not a hot tub. Yeah. Why do we have a why do we have a tub of tub? Don't know. It's the lukewarm yeah. tub. Yeah, who knows? It's just there. <laughs> it's just your body has to warm the tub. Uh, That's the point. The sun. The sun. <laughs> the sun. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're like, I, are you feeling a warm spot now? <laughs> oh, uh, no. No. No, Daniel. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Whoa. Actually, are there a lot of I was small about to say, there's a lot going on right now, I actually. I think, though, that it's been there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> there's a ton of little stuff. Yeah. Lots of little, little corals. Whoa. Okay, would we say... Actually, we already got one. We got one, I think, in this area. Should have yeah, captured yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hmm. A lot of the yellow crinoids now we weren't seeing before the, the feather stars. Right. Yeah, down there too. It's mm -hmm. kind of all over. Yeah. Wow. What's different? Yeah. The current, I think. Yeah. The yeah. current on this ridge axis thing. Okay, let's look at MB Proc and see where we are. Ooh. Let's see, waypoint three. We're like. Oh, oh to no. To the fish. No, no, no. Why did you just. Probably quit? another cuscule, but not oh. sure. Just Come down fish. a little bit on yeah. Atalanta. So Cheyenne, you're telling us a lot about um, the Coast Guard Academy, your experience there. What was your pathway from uh, going from the Academy to being a navigator intern aboard Nautilus? Yeah, that's a good question. So, um, at the academy, we're technically active duty military, so we don't have summers off. We have to go uh, to assignment for the summer. So I'm a rising senior, or I guess I'm a senior now. Um, so one of the options for summer assignments between your junior and senior year is an internship, and this was one of the ones offered for marine science. Though other majors can apply as well. So I just had to apply through the Coast Guard Academy uh, last, sem so fall semester. And then I also filled out the Nautilus application. So. so what's your role here on the ship as a navigator? So basically, I help coordinate between the ship and the ROV pilots, and I tell the the bridge where to move the ships and make sure that we're hitting our target and also make sure that the ship is doing well and can handle the winds and currents that it's up against. And I help with the seafloor mapping too, so I watch the sonar, make sure that's all good, help with the editing of the sonar as well. So in just one job, you wear many hats and do many things. Oh, let me look at this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and zoom. Ooh. Ah. Um. Can't quite see from here. But. Oh, actually, no, that's a black coral. I think I see band. It is a black coral, but I'm yeah. just trying to figure out which one. We haven't seen this one yet. Right. Oh, do you guys ah. see, like, the tiny little brittle star on yeah. it? Yeah. So cute. Oh, I see it. So cute. It's like it's being attacked by spiders. <laughs> it's like having spiders living in your hair. That's oh, terrible. well, that's okay. <laughs> well, that's quite it. Basically. Um, At least they're colorful. Hey, look. Is that fish? Or a shrimp? Uh, shrimp. Oh, this is a good picture. 
Yeah, the one behind has got like the pom poms <laughs> with the black stocks. Other yeah, way, full way. Wide. I think we're yeah, I think we're good. Ooh, that was like a pink. Oh, oh what is shrimp, that? shrimp. We saw like the the insides of the, a clear shrimp. Yep, I just want to say thank you for your uh, little testimony there, Cheyenne. Yeah, it's really cool to learn more about uh, what the Coast Guard does. Because I have no, I had, well, so I have like one family member, well, okay. Technically my dad was served, but like not here. So I don't really know much about the armed forces or Coast Guard. Yeah, so uh, the Coast Guard does a lot of important missions. We take care of all the navigational aids, so all the buoys. In the United States, we also do a lot of search and rescue, which is a lot of what we're on the news for. And in addition, we interdict uh, drugs and migrants mm. coming into the country. Uh, through the seas, and hmm. we help, we enforce fisheries laws, so we make sure that everybody is following the laws and helping keep the fish populations healthy, and also things like oil. Um, and we also do inspections of boats and make sure everybody is safe on their on their vessels and everybody's safe coming into the u.s ports so we keep our ports safe cool also i just want to make a quick correction i think that last coral we looked at i think it was a cliptophora a primnoid oh yep that makes sense this one i believe i'll write that in the chat yeah, no, you're definitely right. I don't know why it was giving such black coral vibes <laughs> because it's clearly a primnoid in that picture. Yeah, it was. Well, it but was when you look see. at it in the other picture, it looks so different. There's also, I think, is this an umbellopathy is kind of next to it? It does look like one. I don't know, though. Or maybe a grind. No, it's a dead. Oh. It's dead. Fish. McCurd. Oh, well, brown. It's got like red eyes. No. Yeah. Fun. My fish. Oh, and there's a little cup coral. And what is... Oh, no, that's a dead thing. Never mind. I know they also saw some tube worms. So there's some polychaetes on the last watch. I love tube worms. One of my favorites. Can't get better than the sabonoglids at the um, at like hydrothermal vents. So cool. Mm, have you ever had to cut one of the cases open and take the worm out of it? So not a deep sea worm, but all last summer that's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, worm. There were a bunch of two worms that would colonize on the oyster reefs, and we had to scrape them off. And I would take them out. Oh, um, can we look at oh this variable? Yeah, we would have to scrape them off, and I would pluck them out of their tubes and identify them. But those were really small. Go ahead and zoom. Was there a reason why it's easier to identify them when they are outside of their tubes? Yeah, you have to look for, um, oh, dead? So dead Dictialis or Rigadrilla. All right, we're good, thank you. Kay. Um. So taking them out, yeah, you can look at, basically polychaetes are really, really, <laughs> really difficult to identify. Um, and what I would look for is eye spots and um, the way their little, um, what are they called? The things that stick out. Uh, Cite, C uh, yeah. Podia. Cite, I think, C yeah. Cite, Cite, either works. Um, they would, it d depending on the species, some would bifurcate out of the worm and some would kind of fan out uniformly um yeah fun stuff fun times shout out to jenny dryer for her polychaete knowledge because i wouldn't have i wouldn't have made it 
without her. Oh, what What's is that? that? Is that a big crinoid? I don't... Where? Did they get that big? On the left? I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. I think it is. I, I have no idea. But that was those were some pretty big, big stock arms a second ago. Yeah, it looks like a stocked crinoid. Yeah. Oh, that's a really big one for how it is not big. for how short it is. Yeah. Uh, zoom in. Yeah, I think for this camera. If we can request its placement, maybe a mm. bit up and a bit upwards and more to the left. Yep. Looks good. Right. Thank you. I think I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, Michael, before. would would it be possible through you to I can talk to Dan tomorrow, I guess, but I'll hand it over. Um, write it in the book there, Sarah, would you? Just to request it pointing yeah. more forward away from the porch. Do you want it, how they have it going in and trying to get it into the center there? You, you just want it tilted up or, I or think back it, the way it was? Or I what? think it has to be it's on that left side, right? Yeah. Uh, it's very precarious. Yeah. <laughs> it's very risky to have a camera anywhere yeah. on the porch. What yeah. What is that? Just, just so, so that the porch is not in the frame the whole time. Um, yeah, so yeah. it needs to be needs out a bit more or up. Uh, I think a little up and out probably. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think they they have it facing toward the center of the ROV right now, so back a little a little bit uh, a left. What and is up. that? Why is it purpley looking? Victor Gorgia? Uh. Or a weird plexor uh, uh. You know those purple? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mhm. Mm oh, that's hard to tell. Uh. Um Mm -hmm. It looks like lavender flowers. Yeah, they're really pretty. I, mm, I want to say, based on the polyps, I want to say Victor Gorgia, but I'm not sure. But then there's all those plexorid blue. Yeah. But I think it's probably Victor Gorgia. All right. I think in that case, we're good. Thanks. Oh yeah, look at those. But it's so light. Ugh. What are Victor Gorgia under again? It's just Oof. um. um Alright, full one. Okay. Actually I can Google it. The power of technology. Hmm. Um Are they under Gorgonian's other? I think guide? so. Yeah. yeah. Come up on that um, a bit. Because some of them have whiter. So yeah, you're right. Some of them do have lighter. It's that's probably what it is. But it's under Anthothelidae, which probably is wrong by now. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Victorgia. Um, correct, but oh wait, you got the part But actually. No, the depths <laughs> for the plexorids is kind of off. No, yeah, I think I think it's that light light morph of the of the Victor Gorgia. Yeah. Cool, love those. Yeah, because these seem to be a bit less deep. Yeah. So we don't have to actually hit waypoint three right on. It's fine if we just continue kind of up this feature towards four. That's good. I, I wasn't planning on going yeah, towards sound, waypoint three. Sounds good. Good. <laughs> kind yeah. of arbitrarily picked in there. Really pretty. Ooh. Purple polyps. Ritigorgia. Oh. Bella. Yeah, I think so. Want to go zoom? I'm sure Ooh, briefly. Like What's next to it? Yeah, that's right. I'm more interested in the really long oh, thing next to it. Oh, those are some big, big arms. I think that's a crinoid. 
think you're right, but like we it's haven't huge. seen these ones that are short and, and ginormous. And big. Go ahead and zoom. I've mm -hmm. never seen that before. And why are they so Strange. long? Wow. Oh my god, Gosh. look at that wow. thing. That's like it looks oh like a gosh. giant gear. At least that one coral does, but the other one. You wanna look crinoid. at the crinoid? Yeah. The crinoid, yes, please. please, yeah. There's a healthier one. Yeah, sure, go to the, the one left. on the left, yeah. Yeah. I think or <laughs> marginally. <laughs> yeah, there's several around here. Yeah. Okay, zoom in there. Let me see if I can figure out what it is. Oops. It's hard not to think of all these crinoids and curls as like the plants of the sea, even though they're not plants. Yeah, ooh, that is... Wow. Take a second Niskin here when wow. we're done zooming. There's a lot more new stuff and some big fans. Oh yeah, great angles. Feeling like it's Vogue, Ocean Edition. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh gosh, there's such big fans. Wow. I think we're good. Yeah, good on the zoom. Thanks. Okay. It there's might be a better good to one up the hill. Yeah, maybe let's. Oh yeah. Look at that one and frame it up nice in the still cam too. Oh, that would be great. Excuse me. This one. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. I think we can go from this side to the other side. Oh, wow. Yeah, however you want to do it. Which side do you want the still shot right from? right side. Yeah. Because all the stuff in the background. Um, so that's about close enough for Ooh, still cam there. Black, okay. Yeah, a black and then maybe we'll go too. ahead and zoom in. If you could... Just tell me what you want up, down, left, right. Yeah, right. Up, a little up, up a little and bit. pirouette toward the right a bit, if that's possible. Oh, yeah. it's like worms on that feather star or something. Yeah, a little bit to the right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit back, if you can. Right. The color looks so unreal. It's gorgeous. Oh. Might be. Oh no! I think that might be good. good. That's okay. We, we can we can go for it and get a good one. So a little back further and a little to the right. Yep. Oh, that coral's gone. Oh no, it's not. Okay. There we go. We're starting to go. This shot right there get this one okay get that shot okay I there think we go. we're good okay, we're good now thanks thanks okay and if we could um, pop another Niskin right right oh, around here that is so interesting I want to see the other side <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's go look at the other side there's some weird projections coming off of the feather star what is that? That I almost know. looks like a. Uh, They're like floating in the wind. Like um, what is it? What am I? What am I looking for here? Like, the base of like a Christmas light, but that's not what I'm looking for. I don't even know. It's like looks like a piece of plastic almost. I. It looks like the brittle star or the crinoids like hanging onto a piece of plastic. Yeah. Like the you know the bases of candles you know birthday cake candles. That's what yes, it looks like. when they like melt. But it's blue. I don't know. Very weird. Um, oh, that's nice. So is that like some sort of, is it just an extension of the coral? Is it something that secretes out to attach to the substrate? Oh, you can see that's it there too. Uh, the, the coral's attachment points, so it's uh, from the coral. Cool. Yeah, okay. I think we got its angles. See, look at pretty. See, yeah, these white floaty things. Oh, close up. Ah, a branch. Would we want to take the branch that just fell or no? Um, 
Sure, yeah. Uh, Mike, we just had a little collateral from the still cam. Um, it is now laying right there. Might be. It's kind of big. Grab a portion of that. Yeah. See, see these little wigglies? Oh. Yeah, it's actually like not too big, oh, I don't think. Sorry. We could take the whole thing. See? Like, what is that? Where are we going to put this sample? We can put it in the side. He's mm. on the side, so mm -hmm. starboard. Starboard, starboard. Yeah. Like, I don't. Yeah. They're not projections from the feather star. Might really be trash. Hopefully not, though. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff in the back, too. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Cool. It's a pretty pink and yellow garden out here. Yeah. If you want to start pre-writing your description for the Niskin. In here? At least or in, or on the written, whatever. I did on the written part. But yeah. Just thinking through what we've got ahead of us, in front of us. I think some, it's high density coral area with some Large hemichorallium fans. Large fans. Many. So this will go starboard A. Yeah. Ooh. Many yellow plexorids and some white paragorgia. It almost looks like someone TP'd the feather stars. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You said yellow. Yellow, or uh, sorry, not plexorids, paramarissids. Uh, A, sorry? Yeah, yes. please. And, um, and uh, white paracord. Actually, paracorgia. I think I'm going to try and kill that thruster. Uh, uh, starboard verse. Just so much little stuff that you see. The when first you part you said was just really a high look. density of coral fans. High density coral area, yeah. So cool. Shrimp. Yeah, look at that cup coral in the back. So Where cute. Is that? Uh, right above, right there. Oh, yeah. I got a picture of it um, nice. when we got the front shot. So much going on right here. Just a nice drop in. Yep. Okay. Do you need to scoop oh, it in, box. or is that good? All right. Oh, that's good. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that yeah it's fine. Yeah. And what was this yeah. coral, the pink one? That's a hemichorallium, so a piece of a large hemichorallium fan. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And uh, if it's easy, we can just pop the nisk in here while you're sat down. Uh, yep. I'd say like original. Oh, so it's helpful when we can write how big the original organism was, mm. too. <laughs> right on this, but that is like you could add a comment if you wanted. Maybe that it's like two and a half meters more. Oh my gosh. Wide. You said two and a half? Can Maybe I get the pilot two meters camera wide. Alright, that I don't know. 
In the comment, uh, you can actually put, yeah, I'll let you do the NISCAN first. Thank you. Uh, so that'll be five. I'm so glad we yeah. got to see this. Same, so I know. So cool. See, we are the good luck watch. We don't have to <laughs> give them our seats early if we don't want to, okay? We can stay <laughs> we can here until the, the end of our five watch. Minutes. Yeah. Who's telling me I can't work until the end of my yeah, watch? Yeah, this is my shift, dang it. Okay, fine. We kept these seats warm yep. all these hours. <laughs> Just to see all this now. But, yeah, it's been a been a great dive in terms that of went. bio. It has been. I mean, even earlier it was Really cool was stuff. Good. A lot of stuff we haven't seen this expedition, like that Pictagonid. Um, <laughs> trying to think what else. We might have seen those. So we have a high density. Sea angels. Yeah, high coral. density coral area. Um, I think with large wow. hemichorallium fans. Uh, yeah. Yep, that's good. Woo, thank you. That was Cheyenne 94. Yeah. 94. Oh my gosh. The f yeah, the first one was 92. 93 ah. was the, wait. I'm on 93. Did you already do the, the grab oh, wait, one? 92 was your grab? Yeah. Oh, the 93, then you've got it wrong up there, right? 93 oh, okay. is the Niskin. Okay. Yeah. I was about well, to, you're good. Sorry. have to back so I might have to fix, so I gotta fix that first one. Ooh, wow. Look at all this. Uh, so you Ooh. can comment in oh, that first one. That yeah, that, you can actually. add that it's actually 92 and you can uh, add the size of the fan. I think we've seen that sponge before. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what, what else we can see in the remainder of our watch, oh my gosh. friends. Oh, is that the really big sea whip that we saw earlier? No, maybe it's oh another one. Oh gosh, my gosh, that's yeah, well. massive. Oh my, God. Oh. oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. How long does it go? What's this? What's this? Wow. It's a big bamboo whip. We said it was whip. about Whoa. two meters. <gasps> oh my yeah, God, the crinoid like at the top. <laughs> the original. That's incredible original fan that thing is wow. really living it up up there rent free it's like a skyscraper on the ocean floor just uh yeah that really okay. reaching for Could nutrients we zoom quick actually on what this is it's kind of like too neatly spiraled to feel bamboo but it probably uh, is how long do we think it is Go ahead and zoom. Um, okay. Maybe like a meter or so. Uh, I would say more, more than, than a meter. Than a meter, two meters, two and a half meters. Big. Oh, it's dead. over. Grown. Oh. It's just a. Oh, it's probably <laughs> like a. <coughs> is it an old Aritagorgia? Maybe. Stock? Actually, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, wow. yeah. You can kind of see the Goldie skeleton. Mm -hmm. I think. It's awesome. Yeah, it's overgrown that's cool with. to see it from from this. Uh, hey, video. To see that skeleton. Do you put the gauges on the left corner? And that's why it's a gold coral. It absolutely will not let me. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you, Mike. That was a nice shot. Yeah, so those aren't zoanthids taking over. No. Must be. Some Thank sort of hydrozoan. Could be something hydrozoan. Yeah. Ooh, looks like. No, that's not it. What about that there? Yeah, under your mouse where it just was. Oops. These? Nope. Up like three, and over one, and up one. To the to the right. Yep. These. Oh, is that of the thing bulging off? I thought it was yeah. of the fuzzy stuff. No. What about like that? These, I don't think so. They, okay. they look super, the ones that we just saw look more like this, but this is not the depth range that we're in. Nope, that's oh, not no. it. They're really fuzzy, actually. I haven't really seen any, anything like it. No. 
Aren't those really cool? Mm -hmm. Pretty fans. Woohoo! That's what we like to see. So we're at a depth of like 1,500. What were you saying, Loopy? The Niskan was in five, wasn't it? It was five, yep. Okay, five, yeah. sure. Oh, it's probably. We're around 1,500, and we're seeing lots of interesting stuff. Weirdly, it seems like in this area, like the shallower sections are actually often more, yeah. more dense. Yeah. I wonder why. Genuinely. Mm-hmm. Oh, something just shot past on Atlanta cam. Man. Yeah, it's always cool to see the things using skeletons mm -hmm. to their advantage. Ooh. Lots of dead dead hemichorallium fans. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Oh. A squid. Squid. Little squid. I think it's a mix of those dead fans and also the white bear gorgia. Yeah, right. I forgot we had that. Big whips. Mm-hmm. And big crinoids. Gosh, that's huge too. Where? Oh, I see. And about the pathies. We made it. <laughs> we made it to Lifeland. <laughs> Yay. We carried the team to Lifeland. <laughs> oh, another of Victor Gorgia. And yeah, Victor Gorgia. So to reward y'all for that nice sample we just took, oh I got God. a joke for y'all. Okay. Uh, what did Cinderella wear when she went swimming with the Little Mermaid? Fins. Mm, close. What? Glass flippers. Oh my oh gosh. gosh. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> okay, I have one. Why cool. did Patrick take a shovel to the Krusty Krab? Oh my gosh. Why? Because SpongeBob told him to dig in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought. What makes it so much funny is that's something that he probably would do. <laughs> yeah. You just scooped Krabby Patties into his mouth. With a shovel? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, maybe you think that Health Inspector episode for a second. Oh my gosh. I won't go into details, but if you know, you know. That was a funny episode. Classic. <laughs> Sorry to everyone out there that doesn't understand. Yep. Yeah, it's like it's really unfortunate for you. <laughs> <laughs> really unfortunate it for is you. Did that episode of Squidward when he was like eating all the curry patties? Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the best parts of SpongeBob is that they have these super detailed frames, like painted frames, and they're yes. like sometimes grotesque. And I feel like that's like. just. I feel like Spongebob like is our takes generation's a bite of a equivalent of Red and Stimpy. Mm. <laughs> of what? Red and Stimpy. Or oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I feel like Spongebob <laughs> is kind of like that. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't uh, I don't watch it. I did see the movie, but I don't know if I'm right or not. But does that, does it resemble like the Ren and Stimpy animation? No. Yeah, I feel like really. it does. No. Kind of. In terms yeah. of the crass humor. Yes. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Could we yeah, look at whatever just went off the screen briefly? No, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> gone forever. <laughs> Sorry. We're done. Uh, oh, okay. which, which one? I just wanted to know what Chrysogorgid that was. It's a different one. It's also or something Or if it's pink. Metallogorgia, I can't see from the single. Uh, go ahead, zoom in. Oh, look at that pretty, pretty coral next to it. Another hemichorallium next to it. Oh, looking at the little one on the left. No, the in yep that okay. one. Wow, it's a really thin star. Yeah, it's so dainty. Ooh. It's hard to tell from this angle if that's Metallogorgia or not. Oh wait, no, I can see in still cam. It's not Metallogorgia. Metallogorgia. Yeah, it's not that. Oh, 
Mm. Actually, actually, yes it is. Now looking at it, it's from this side. I think that is metallic gorge, yeah. So how do you distinguish? What are you looking for? They're, they're just like flat and planar, but I think we're looking at it from the face right now. Right. I think we're good. Yeah, thanks. I like the little basket star. There you go. Now you can see it. Is it kind of dying? <laughs> yeah, it does look see very the... dark at the bottom. Looks like it's like, yeah, like kind of... Huh. That was Metallogorgia. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful and I also can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> my bed's gonna be so soft and warm. And whenever they say good morning, when we're, you know, like on our way out and they're on their way in, <laughs> like, you're confused. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is still yesterday. I like the good morning Ooh. at like 12 a.m. Oh, sorry, that's <laughs> yeah. so cool. It's like, it's morning somewhere. Go ahead, Zoop. Mm. Nice. Oh, I think that's just another one of the... Actually, is that one... That's not it's stalked. It's not a, not a crinoid. It's a... Is not it? Star? stalked. It is a crinoid. Oh, wait. It is. It doesn't mm. look like it. It's, mm. it's hard to see without the bottom. Mm. It prob it's, uh, it's not... Oh. See it on here, it's not stalked. Do you see the little foots at all in there? Oh, gosh. Let's I find out. Uh, but that yellow soft nope. one above is a crinoid. Mm. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell, yeah. All right, we're good. Thanks. Oh, look at this okay. one. Yep. That's the uh, one we collected. Oh. I always forget what that one's called. <coughs> we collected that one? Uh, not on this dive. Oh, okay. I collected it in the past. Cool. Yeah. Um, right, right. Da, 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 da. Oh, that was pretty red and white color. I don't think it was a. Uh, so difficult to tell. Oh, I don't know. <coughs> oh, another um, Eridogorgia. Uh, Magna Spiralis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, not many charismatic species. Not many fish. Nothing yet. Nothing we saw enough. some squat lobsters, though. Haven't seen any, s well, we kind of saw, I think we saw a mini squid. No cephalopods. I think they're avoiding us, or you know, somewhere out of frame, because our frame is very small depiction of what this area looks like. They're camera shy. So it's yeah. like a little rocky area. Yeah. Grab some rocks. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they're in a crevice, <laughs> just like really scared of what we sound like. Oh yeah, good I, good uh, reminder though that we were wanting to get a rock sample. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay. I mean, one of those must be a lot yep. of rocks in there. Yeah, so large and chunky, angular. Um, Cantaloupe sized. Maybe but somewhere not watermelon. here. We've collected watermelon sized rocks before, though. Yeah, those are heavy. I always think it's funny how we pass fields and fields of rocks. Actually, that's not angular, sorry. Yeah, I know. And then, though the and then the one time we need a rock sample, it's like on a ledge <laughs> or the rocks aren't loose. Um. Uh, Cup corals. Um. I don't like things that would be not altered. I don't know what this is right there. Under the lasers. Yeah, do you want to try it? Yeah. Oh.
Whoa, rolly. I guess the claw. They're starting to come. Okay, that looks good. A very angular, very chunky. Uh, yeah. Kevin, if you're still watching, we hope this is good. It looks, it's actually kind of thin, yeah. Hmm. I, it would be nice if we could see if this is what Kevin wants. It's probably pretty altered. Uh, let me see if I can. Not sure if he's still here. We might want something a little less flat. Yeah, this doesn't look like a great yeah. movie. Mm. How about this one? That under, yeah, right yeah, yep. Hey. So it looks like looks uh, we're better. coming close to the end of our watch, so I'm going to be transferring Also kind of flattish. Not uh, as bad. Better, better, yeah. Better. It's a nice, good angular one. So I'm going to transition over to our I next SPL host. think we can take host. that one. You want it? Yep. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Don't get too crazy there. Uh, that could probably go in. What's free on the starboard? Uh, B? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I would say we have B and C and E and F. Everything but A, right? I think B will be good. B? B. Yeah. B? B. B. Video watch change. Um, someone asked, why do we take rock samples? Because geologists want them. <laughs> um, no, they want to see what's inside of them. Um, so a lot of these rocks are these encrusted. Oh, oh. These buttons are brutal. Uh oh. So yeah, let me let me oh, wait oh, until oh, oh. we get this. Perfect. All right, box closed. Morning. Okay. Okay, just kidding. It's it's watch change. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> oh. 
Settled in over there, Daryl. Yep. Oh, is it all tweaked so I can't hear you? Uh, of course it did. Speaking of change, do you remember how to put uh, Herc Brow into uh, Multiviewer 1, Channel 9? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you fine. been doing some serious zigging and zagging here, hasn't he? Multiviewer one, can you come up five, please? Copy. Uh, Multiviewer one. Uh, yeah. Hurt brow. Yeah, Ranch. Can you put hurt brow on the gauges, please? Herc Brown. Yeah. Preset, uh, dude. Herc Brown. Preset two. Oh, copy. And then uh, multi viewer two uh, can be PC. I think it's two or three or whatever the DSC is. Mm. Pip nine. Uh, try PC two. H2, maybe it's H28, did I count wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry, eight. PC3. That changed last night. Yeah, perfect. That's the baby. Thank you. No. If you could say of all that is Dan Savon, that would be great. Should be. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. shift. Here we go. So my name's Katie Doyle, Science Communication Fellow, and right now we are surveying about 220 miles north-northwest of Palmyra Atoll on an unnamed seamount number five. Hey, look, it's a spider. Oh, it's a crab. Ooh. Oh, is it one of those long, daddy long leg shrimps? Nope. Darn. Light years away. Nope, this is a crab. Hold on. 
It's an underwater spider. Looks like some kind of a throated crab. You want a closer shot? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Zoom in there, there. I love that. Oh, right next to an urchin. This looks like something in the spider or king crab families. Uh, Not seen this one on this expedition so far. Sorry. Let's oh, find the wrong that's camera. That's good <laughs> enough. And there's a black coral whip in there as well. Probably something like stickopathies. He definitely felt the RV bonking around in the rocks. Uh, I'm joking here. What's going on? Okay, I'll try to fall in there. It really gross me out first thing in the morning. Not a crap person? No. <laughs> Go zoom in in some way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah. Is that full zoom? Right. Not a very good shot. But oh. All right, that's good enough for us. Thanks. Right, it moving up. Spare you the indignity of having to look at it any longer. <laughs> uh -huh. Good morning, Norway, and howdy back to whoever else is watching. Controls all wonky. Sorry, give me a second here to get my numbers. Oh. Mm -mm. I see Mike was uh, zigzagging. You want to go left and right here on the on the cliff? Yeah. Where we go up? Yeah, we. That works for me. Quick zoom on that coral coming at the lasers. Right there, and go ahead. Uh, cup coral. Yep. This is a black coral. And anthopotherian. All right, that's good. Thank you. And okay, you can go in there. And as Dan said, there's also a, we saw a cup coral there for a second. These guys are always solitary. I haven't seen any dense colonies like uh, seen the Discovery Corridor. You mean the cup corals? Yeah. Yeah. They're different. Different animals are they? Or? The, there's actually, I have to admit, I have trouble following it, but there's like three different families of cup corals. So there's a huge amount of taxonomic diversity within the cup corals. And certainly, when you get up north, they grow much, 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 much higher densities. Out here, yeah, they're generally very kind of sparse and one-offs. Can you see cup corals in shallow waters? Yeah, there Big certainly ones. are solitary cor corals in shallow water. Whether they're what the taxonomic like diversity is genetically, I don't know. But yeah, you definitely can see individual solitary corals in shallow water. We, um, last year during the RCA cruise, we recovered uh, moorings that are, uh, they're 2,500 meters water depth, but the mooring itself is like 100, 150 meters, and they were just covered in hand, in hand size cup corals. Uh, Whoa. Huge ones. Big, uh, 
bigger than I've ever seen. Deep. Dozens of them on the, on the mooring. Can we take a look at the rock pin? Sure. This is something we haven't been seeing as much this expedition. Do uh, lasers in there, please. So if you are in Japan is very interested in the crabs and hopes that we continue to find them. This is a sea pen, um, but one of, uh, with an interesting um, adaptation to allow it to um, live on the rocks instead of the sediment. That's good enough for us, thanks. Okay, you can go in, thanks. There also appeared to be a crab in the cave. Yeah, looks like there's something oh, up there. Oh yeah, you're right. Hmm. So if you were in Japan, you got your wish. There's your crab. I'm not seeing it. It's, it's in that little bitty cave in the center now. Right there. Hmm. Another big, beautiful Hime Corallium. Oh, decorator crab. All of its sponges, uh, with all of its sponges, all of its crinoids. Is that? What was that one again? Coral a day? Yeah, probably hemicrallium. Precious coral. Bunch of crinoids. And is that bathopathies? Yep, I think it's got a little bathopathies growing um, underneath it. Uh, just push in a bit there for us. And a basket star. So pretty. All right, we're good. Okay, it can go in, thanks. But can you tilt up and this one looks new. Right. Push in a bit there for us. This is another black coral, but this is one I don't know if we've seen. I'm not sure I've seen this one yet on this expedition. I don't remember this one because it looks like the color of a fall leaf, like a dead leaf. Push in this a bit more. It's so got a couple squat lobster associates. Looks like. All right, that should be good enough for us, thanks. I don't want the color of this things. coral for my home. I will not be taking a picture of that to Sherwin-Williams for a color match. Which one? That brown one that we just zoomed in on. Oh. Remember how the other night I was like, ooh, that one's yellow and red and orange and it's beautiful. This is certainly the highest density of Corallidae we've seen 